The best time to apply our UV protective liquid rubber top coat is when the EPDM surface is brand new, or at least before this type of failure occurs. Nevertheless, before patching and coating, the surface needs to be pressure washed and allowed to dry for a couple of days. Use a pressure washer with less than 2000 PSI and a fan angle of no less than 30 degrees and you should not damage the surface. But if the EPDM is so old and weak that it is damaged by pressure washing, those areas needed to be replaced anyway. The top coat is not meant to save old brittle EPDM. Fragile areas must be cut out and patched before coating. Place four pounds of patch rubber into the bucket and add one scoop of playground pavement binder. Beware of cheaper binders that range from one sixth to one half the strength of playground pavement binder. If you use a cheaper binder, you can expect to re-repair your work at a later date. Our binder's tensile strength is 6,600 PSI and its elongation is 600%. If a polymer company cannot meet these numbers in writing, don't buy their product. Notice the rubber sheet under the mixing pail. This prevents the pail from spinning when the mixer is running. Be sure to get the rubber down deep into the cracks. You do not want to leave any voids. It is not enough just to fill the damaged areas. You must feather a thin overlapping layer onto the good EPDM, otherwise cracks will develop overnight between the old rubber and the new. Feather the patches like this and be sure to overlap all sides of the damaged areas. After completion of each patch, mist the new rubber with water to assure proper curing. Fine cracks that are roughly an eighth of an inch or less can be repaired with PL Premium Construction Adhesive. Use only the premium grade adhesive, not the standard or heavy duty. You should be able to find PL Premium at Home Depot or online. Before applying the first layer of top coat onto the EPDM, mark off the playground into 100 square foot sections and then use a full 5 gallon pail on each section. Be sure to apply the top coat extra thick on the patchwork. It is very important for the coating to penetrate through the new rubber and into the old so that the layers will be permanently bound together. Be sure to use an extra rough 9 inch long roller pad with a 1 and a quarter inch nap. Never attempt to spray the first coat and never pour the top coat directly onto the porous rubber. It is important to understand that the surface will not look good after a single coat. Gravity pulls the coating down into the porous wear layer and it will not look aesthetically pleasing even if you use twice as much material. After the first coat dries, most of the pores will be filled so the second coat can finish the job at a rate of roughly 400 square feet per 5 gallon pail. Playground pavement top coat fills the voids and creates a solid rubber layer that is not porous. So it is important that the surface is properly graded for drainage. 
Most DPVM surfaces are installed at a proper drainage grade, but if the existing surface has drainage problems, you should consult with a U.S. Pour in Place advisor before applying playground pavement top coat. And if the existing surface was improperly installed over drains, you should not use our product on such a defective design. On the second coat, you should use a paint grid like this to help prevent drips. After the second coat is applied, the surface should be ready to play after 72 hours of dry weather. Do not apply playground pavement top coat if rain is forecast within 48 hours.